Assalamualaikum and good day uh, guys everyone So this lecture I will talk about uh, Serology So first part uh, Introduction to Immunoassays or Serology So Serology is the method or test uh, that can be used to detect specific antibodies or specific antigens in a uh, patient as we can observe picture here showing a rapid test kit for COVID-19 so this rapid test kit for COVID-19 specific for detecting antibody uh, against COVID so this will detect whether that particular person already infected by COVID-19 and he or she already produce uh, her or she, his immune response produce uh, antibodies against the COVID-19 in the form of IgM and IgG so luckily for this patient both is negative that means uh, he doesn't be infected yet by being infected by COVID-19 or can be used to detect specific antigens Immunoassays is the studies uh, looking at the presence of concentration of molecule so this molecule uh, can be antigens antigen can be any form of uh, proteins uh, lipoproteins or antibody in a solution by using antibody so if we are looking specific for specific antigen we will use specific antibody against it so they can detect so the antibody can detect the antigen that we are looking for or if we are looking for specific antibody we will uh, be using specific antigen so the solution can be any fluid can be blood serum plasma urine body fluids uh, synovial fluid uh, saliva or uh, so yes any fluid if the solution is uh, either blood plasma or serum so here the picture showing two uh, plain tubes a uh, plain tube is a blood tube without any anticoagulant so the blood already clot so the blood cells here in the bottom so the yellowish fluid is the serum so to be specific serology we are talking about the same thing exactly like immunoassays but serology is like immunoassays but you are focusing the solution to blood plasma and serum so serum mean uh, serum so serology is a sub of immunoassays and they can be used uh, uh, to, re to replace to represent one another so no issue uh, some people just call it serology for everything uh, some lab use immunoassays uh, some use both so they are basically representing the same thing so example of immunoassays first we have agglutination test so this is based on uh, the agglutination between antigen and antibody so here we have uh, a card for latex agglutination test kit we're doing this test in a paper card and here one of the most popular uh, lateral flow immunoassays uh, rapid strip test here we show COVID-19 strip test and this strip test uh, we just we just change the antigen uh, the known antigen or antibody if we are looking for antibody against COVID-19 so this test strip is for COVID-19 if we are looking for uh, if it is uh, used uh, for detecting uh, early pregnancy so you will have antibody against uh, human chorionic gonadotropin hormone so the hormone that is being released in early pregnancy uh, or any other pathogens uh, or antigens uh, same thing here we just change the specific antigen or antibody 
We also have uh, enzyme immunoassays. They're using enzyme as the main, uh, main uh, principle for ELISA. Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay, very popular, widely used in the hospital. And also fluorescent immunoassays. This is the flow cytometry machine. Immunoassays use uh, antibodies to detect antigen or we use antigens to detect antibodies. Uh, this is based on the special ability, special character of the antibody which is specific. Antibody is very specific, they only bind to this, they are specific antigen. So we can imagine here specific antibody looking for their specific antigen. Here, we, we if you want to look for specific antibody in the patient, we need to have a known uh, antigen to that antibody. So we, when we run a test, the antigen can bind to the antibody if present. Antibodies uh, also can be produced against any type of microbiological. We are talking about uh, uh, a long list of materials that can be detected by immunoassays uh, up to hard, close to thousands I believe and they can be produced the, the, the produce uh, antibodies known as antiserum so antiserum is antibodies used for research and diagnostic purposes and they are often obtained by injecting a lab animal such as a rabbit, goat, a horse or many other animals with a specific antigen. So the way we do it is uh, to produce antiserum. Let's say we want to produce antibody against antigen X. So this antigen X can be anything you can if we are looking for COVID-19 we just uh, change with COVID-19 uh, virus particles or antigen um, salmonella uh, or any other pathogens or any other antigen that we want to look for so we inject the lab animals with the antigen X so we inject and we took some time for the animal to pro to the immune response secondary immune response uh, adaptive humoral immunity to produce antibodies so once uh, the antibody uh, produced, we will withdraw the blood from the animal. So the blood will contain the serum. So the antiserum obtained from the animal will contain antibodies that already been produced earlier against the antigen X. So this antibody can be used in the immunoassay. So the serology test, for example, in SARS-CoV-2 can help to detect if a person has been exposed to COVID-19 because if we just look on the symptom, so uh, not all patients uh, will develop or all people exposed to COVID-19 will develop symptom. That person, uh, even though they, they, are, they are not developing any symptom, they uh, will develop an immune response to the virus. So they will have the antibodies again, COVID-19. So we can use the serology test to detect whether these particular people, if they do, has been exposed to COVID-19. So by doing this, uh, this picture showing the modes of the modes of transmission. So how people are being infected by COVID nineteen. Close to half of the cases is because they are transmitted by direct contact with or close contact with pre symptomatic individuals. Here, almost half of the cases people being infected when they have a close contact with these people. Presymptomatic mean this patient they already have COVID-19 but they are yet to develop 
any symptom so these people can either uh, remain asymptomatic even though they have the COVID-19 or they can show the symptom and 6% of the people being infected from asymptomatic individuals so these two category is very dangerous for this kind of people we know we somehow we can observe that they have the symptom so people can be extra careful and they usually uh, will be detected uh, in the hospital or we screen in the hospital but these two category we wouldn't know whether they are have the COVID-19 or not because they did not show the symptom and uh, serology tests can detect the mild or asymptomatic cases because close to three quarter of cases people infected with COVID-19 they do not produce uh, symptom or they just have a very mild symptom mild means a very general uh, light uh, mild fever so they are so general they, the, 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 the person uh, we wouldn't expect them to have a COVID-19 because they didn't show any specific symptom just a very mild fever or mild flu but we can uh, screen them by doing serology tests even though they are just uh, showing mild symptom they are not suffering from uh, critical uh, symptom like these cases here but they will contain uh, they will uh, produce the antibody again covid-19 so we can use serology test to detect the antibody produced for the clinical application of uh, serological tests they are very important part of diagnostic test in the clinical laboratory in the hospital uh, widely used for diagnostic purposes in the medical laboratory um, basically they are used to detect three types of uh, stuff first uh, detecting the serum antibodies that are being produced to specific infectious agent just like the we talked earlier the patient of COVID-19 exposed to COVID-19 they will produce the antibodies so we are detecting the antibodies second we, we can also detect the antigen itself identify microorganism or antigens and protein so other than means protein means other than pathogen or infectious agent we can use serology or immunoassays to detect various types of antigens or proteins in other diseases other than uh, infectious disease example of the application in, de uh, in detecting uh, antibodies and antigens in microbiology lab you can determine if a person has be has antibodies against a specific pathogen they mean they are being infected they produce antibodies against it so we can detect that or we can detect the antigen itself and in protein or antigen identification we can use serology to detect and also measure the levels of in chemical pathology lab various type of hormones thyroid hormones growth hormones uh, hormones uh, in pregnancy uh, for example second in toxicology lab uh, drug screening for illegal drugs abuse can use that Third, immunology or serology lab, we can look for abnormal antibodies, for example, antibodies uh, IgE uh, in uh, hypersensitivity uh, people, uh, autoantibodies uh, in uh, autoimmune cases such as SLE or rheumatoid arthritis, and also in organ transplant, we can sc screen for HLA typing, so we can try to type or match the HLA between the donor and recipient by doing serological tests. Then for in hematology lab, 
we can uh, differentiate the white blood cell types because uh, white blood cell types we, if we look in under the microscope they, are, they are look uh, really similar so by using immunoassays we can specifically determine their type for example we can determine we can detect uh, plasma cells uh, uh, B cells uh, T cells by using immunoassays so those by if just by doing uh, by looking at microscope it is impossible for us to detect whether that cell is a B cell or T cell or etc then we need to use immunoassays and fifth in transfusion medicine uh, the most common one uh, in doing blood grouping we can detect the blood group of the person uh, a b o or a b and the research uh, positive or negative